Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade recipes to share with your family and friends. Today, we're making something that is either a cookie, a candy, a special treat, or just some pure amazingness. It's a rum ball, and they should not be relegated to the holidays because they're beyond delicious. Just a few ingredients, no baking, and they come together in like five minutes. The rum doesn't bake off. I might have eaten some already. Let's get started. First off, we're gonna crush some vanilla wafers, and if you're like, what is a vanilla wafer? That was me, I had no idea because I saw these recipes for vanilla wafers, I was like imagining some kind of like a wafer Kit Kat situation. No, these guys, I grew up calling these Nilla wafers or Nilla cookies. You can let me know in the comments what you called them, but these are vanilla wafers. We're using like almost a whole bag, so we wanna end up with two cups of pulverized ones plus a quarter cup for rolling. If you don't have a food processor, you could totally do this in a bag with a rolling pin, I can, and a little bit of pent up anger. And of course, in case you're wondering where I'm at, this is a rental house. The new kitchen, which you can click up here for my initial update, is dragging on. Okay, pulse. Oh. Okay. You can use this massive novelty cup, which I found at the rental house. So measure out two cups. There we go. That's for rolling. Set that aside. This is for our rum balls. Oh yeah, it worked. Is it for soup or something? I don't know. All right, the extra ones I'm setting aside in here. We'll be rolling some of our rum balls in that later. Okay, now for the pecans. Do, 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 do. Okay, these are straight out of the oven. They're really hot. I almost always toast nuts when I'm using them in a recipe. It really gives you a nice depth of flavor and, you know, I think they're a little bit crunchier too. We're gonna pulse this. You wanna have them pulverized but not go too crazy because it then will turn into a nut butter. Here we go, that was just right. It's like steaming up because it's hot, but it's okay. It's okay. Careful. This smells amazing, oh my gosh. That goes in there too, all this goes away. Rounding the corner with our dry ingredients, right now we have a cup of confectioner sugar. I'm gonna sift that in there too, along with two tablespoons of cocoa powder. This is a nice one, you can use any cocoa powder you'd like, but a nice one is always better. <laughs> Last ingredient for the dry mixture is half a teaspoon of salt. Sift that out. See this nonsense here? Mm -mm. Not in my house, not around my kids. We're gonna whisk these ingredients up, just mix them up. This reminds me of puppy chow right now, but so much better. Have you had puppy chow? It's also called like Muddy Buddies and other like moose munch, stuff like that. I have a recipe for it on the blog. You can click up here for that. It's really good and snacky. This is nice. Set this aside. And now there is just a little bit of a wet ingredient situation going on here. So we're gonna handle that. Okay, now for the fun stuff. We're gonna use a third of a cup, and that's a very liberal third of a cup, mind you, of a nice spiced dark rum. This one is from St. Lucia. And it smells so good. I've tried sipping it, and it's a little sweet for me. I had friends who were really into sipping rum, so there was like all these different brands. They get a really intense flavor. This one's a little sweet, but it's perfect for desserts like this. Wait, 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 what is this? No, this does, that doesn't even count. That's for the spoon, no, okay. Now we'll start. Here, one third of a cup, that's a third of a cup. Just in case you're wondering how to measure a third of a cup of rum. And then this was for the, this is for the honey. Silly me. A little bit of honey in here. I've been watching Mary Berry. She has like Mary Berry every day. If you don't know who she is, she's an icon. And I learned this, this is called runny honey. I've never heard that before until I watched her show, but it makes total sense. You can use this oversized whisk and just whisk in the honey so it dissolves. A lot of rum ball recipes use corn syrup, but I don't think that's in any way necessary. This doesn't make sense. Okay, so we're gonna pour the wet into the dry and mix it up. And if you're noticing some dry spots, you can add any wet ingredient you want in to help bind things up. Anything you want. Pour those wet ingredients in. <sighs> smells so good. And you really taste the rum here, so you should use one that you like drinking. Don't go and buy something that comes in a plastic container. You deserve more. 
You know, Ina Gartenala says you should use a wine that you would enjoy drinking with dinner. Same thing here. It's an excellent rule. I know we love you. <laughs> You're my hero. You know, once I saw Ina and Jeffrey walking hand in hand in Central Park and I was like, oh my God. I didn't bother them, but I saw it. I saw it happen. And that's it. Look, this is your rum ball mixture right now. So if you notice it's a little bit wet, add in some more of the crushed uh, Nilla wafers. If it's a bit dry, add in a little bit more honey or rum. And it will be a little wetter in the beginning. It will dry out over time. So if you're making this the day ahead, don't worry about it being wet. It's fine. All we have to do now is to roll it out. And let me tell you, when I was recipe testing this, it'd be like, roll a roll a roll a nibble, nibble, nibble. Roll a roll a roll a nibble, nibble, nibble. Because this is like, it's done and it's so good. Choose whatever you want to roll it in. You can roll it in the cookie pieces. That looks nice. These are really soft and luscious. So here I'm rolling them in the cookie bits, the cocoa powder, and the powdered sugar. All of them are delicious. I think my favorite was the cookie. Continue that process. You'll probably want to like wash your hands every once in a while because they'll get kind of gunky. But that's how it works when you're rolling things. If you are into this recipe, after you make this, check out my brandied chocolate truffles. Those are very similar, but different, but so good. They look really similar, but they taste more chocolatey and it's brandy instead, so it's totally different. <laughs> if you like this recipe, check out my cookie playlist. It has all of my favorite cookies and you might find a new favorite one there too. All right, now it's time for a bite. Rum didn't burn enough, baby. These have everything. There's like, there's chocolate, there's rum, there's like crunchy cookies, there's rum, there's toasted pecans, there's rum. I don't know what else I could need. It's so good. If you like these videos, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.